Hi, my name is Imran Latif, and I'm here to demonstrate how you can connect a remote to work with your PC. Okay, for this, you don't need any tools, um, literally perhaps just to cut the wires and get away with using a simple breadboard, two infrared, in, infrared emitting diodes even, um, like I say, a bit of wire, a um, couple of AA batteries, and obviously a remote. Um, for these purposes, I've just borrowed one off a friend. So, you place your diodes in the correct um, polarization connect it up in a simple schematic connecting the two diodes in parallel uh, sorry in series batteries thus now this forms the sensor bar for the Wii right so once you've got your sensor bar up and running um, you've already tested that the LEDs are working you obviously need to pair your remote to the PC so just like you do on your normal Wii you have the lights flashing you for this purpose I'm using a program called Blue Sade. Uh, it's literally a Bluetooth that comes with uh, Bluetooth devices, uh, Bluetooth receivers. So if you select your Nintendo um, device after searching it, it will show up as a Nintendo joystick. You press the connect button and it finds the remote. So once it's connected, the Nintendo joystick will go green, the My Devices monitor will go green. Um, for the interaction, we'll use a program called GlovePi. Um, it's basic program called Input Emulator. The idea behind it is that you can use it to um, use an unorthodox input and make the computer believe it's a normal input, such as a mouse or a keyboard. So, for this purposes, we use a script. Um, in this case, it's a Google Earth script. Okay. With Google Earth running now, so you run the script which tells the remote how to behave. And as you see, with my remote moving, it's now controlling Google Earth. Yeah.